In this video, I'm showing you how to post an article on LinkedIn. By the end of this video, you'll know how to post an article on LinkedIn, as well as how to use LinkedIn articles to get more views on your content and the difference between a LinkedIn post and a LinkedIn article. Let's start with showing you how to post on LinkedIn and then I'll get into how to use articles to get more views on your content and the difference between a LinkedIn post and a LinkedIn article and why that's important. So first of all, you need to go to your feed. You need to go to the top of your feed then you click write article. At this point, you can choose who you wanna write the article as. If you've got other company pages, those will appear here. I'll write the article as myself, then click next. At this point, you've got an option to upload images and then you've got your title and you can just start writing. Let's get a blog image and show you how to upload that. This is how you add your image. You basically just need to drag it in. So I'll get to my files, here are my files, and then you drag that in. Or you can click the upload from computer button, but I like to just drag it in. Then you add your title. So let's say this is gonna be my how to post on LinkedIn blog. Then you add your text and you can add another image by just dragging it in again. If you're gonna drag in another image, you need to hit enter so that you've got a line under your text and then you can drag that under your text instead of above it. It just makes things easier. You can also add links and that sort of stuff. You can just paste them here or you can use the toolbar up here to add bullet points and numbers and bold and all that sort of stuff. But usually, well, let's get into that in a sec. You can also manage your SEO settings from LinkedIn. And that's going to be very important for what we talk about in a bit. But if you click manage and then come to SEO settings, you'll see you can enter your SEO title and you can enter your SEO description. Very important for helping you rank in search engines. And then you can also edit your image to add a URL and add alt text which will also help you rank higher in SEO. Then when you're ready to post your article, you click next and then you can click publish or you can schedule your article for later. With your article, you do want to add some text beforehand. Generally, the way that I would add text for my article if I really wanted to promote it is I'd start with a problem. So here I've done a basic write up Really, if I really wanted to promote this, I'd make this a little bit longer, like I'd have more bullet points, but this is super simple. Posting consistently on LinkedIn can be a struggle. That's a problem that a lot of people have, but it doesn't have to be. Here's how to post on LinkedIn and 14 content ideas to get you started. You'll discover how to post on LinkedIn, the best post types and more. Then we have the call to action of click the article below, okay? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, Generally, when I'm posting articles on LinkedIn, I don't want them to be seen. And I'll tell you why in a second. But first of all, if you wanna publish this, you hit that publish button, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna hit the X and then we're gonna discard this. First, I wanna talk about what's the difference between a LinkedIn post and a LinkedIn article. Then I'm gonna tell you how to use LinkedIn articles to get more views on your content. So the difference between a LinkedIn article is this. LinkedIn posts and LinkedIn articles serve very different purposes. Now, if we go to my feed and my profile, I'll show you some examples. So this is a LinkedIn post. This is a LinkedIn post. Basically, if you go on your LinkedIn feed, you're going to see LinkedIn posts. That's all you're gonna see. You're not gonna see many articles because that just doesn't get pushed in the feed. This is an article. Actually, it's a link to a post that's promoted. So doesn't really count. Generally, you'll see loads of posts, not many articles. You may see newsletters if you're subscribed to someone's newsletter, but that's different from an article. It's very similar, but it operates differently. And we'll talk about that in a different video. Now, how should you use LinkedIn posts? Basically with LinkedIn posts, you wanna post four times a week minimum because that gets you pushed to more of your audience and you wanna keep them short and easy to read and you need to start with a good hook. This is a hook. When you write a LinkedIn post, 
the first three lines are all you get to see before you have to click see more. That's why you need a good hook that makes people curious enough to click that see more button. If you want 74 hooks and LinkedIn post ideas, there's a link in the description to grab that. But essentially what you need to know is without a good hook or headline, the rest of your content in a post doesn't matter because no one's gonna see it because they're not gonna click see more. You need to grab their attention, make them curious enough to click more. Now LinkedIn articles are like a blog post on LinkedIn. I will show you what they kind of look like on LinkedIn. This is what it will kind of look like in the feed. Yeah, less so like this and more how big it was before. But as you can see, I've got a few articles on here. Articles, as I showed you before, are not pushed in the LinkedIn feeds. If you check your LinkedIn feed now, you will barely see any articles. If you can prove me wrong, prove me wrong. So why should you even post articles in the first place? And how can you get more views on your content using LinkedIn articles? This is how. So let's bring up one of my posts. But the main thing is LinkedIn articles have great SEO because LinkedIn has a high domain rating. Domain ratings or domain authority is how Google sees websites. Big websites like LinkedIn, YouTube, any social media sites that are large will have very high domain ratings. So if you just start a blog, your domain rating is probably zero, yeah? Uh, my domain rating is like six because I posted a couple articles, but I never really fo focused on it. I think it might have been up to eight now, but LinkedIn is 99. So if I post the same article on my blog and I post the same article on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is gonna rank higher. So this is why you wanna use LinkedIn articles. It's way easier to rank on Google with LinkedIn than an article on your own website. Now you can promote your articles with posts. Like when you write a post, you can put your article link in there, but you won't get much traffic from LinkedIn. Although I have seen that my article posts do get a weird amount of reach, more reach than I expect, but it's not like it's going viral or anything, but you don't really need to. You don't really need to push traffic to your articles for LinkedIn because that's not what you're using them for because this is how you should use articles. You write in-depth blog post on your own website. So let's go to my blog and we go to how to post on LinkedIn, 14 post ideas, okay? So in this blog, I go through how to post on LinkedIn, best post types, post examples, best time to post on LinkedIn. It gives you everything you need to know to post on LinkedIn, okay? On this post that I've posted on LinkedIn, it's teaching you the main steps, so how to post on LinkedIn, and it's giving you the 14 post ideas, but it's not giving you all those other ideas like the best LinkedIn post types or good LinkedIn post examples and whatnot, because that is in the full post. So this article shows you the difference between LinkedIn articles and LinkedIn posts. It shows you the best post types. Then it shows you exactly how to post on both mobile and desktop. And then instead of giving you the best time to post, two weeks of LinkedIn post ideas, how often should you post on LinkedIn and all that information, I'm telling you, you need to click here to read the full post to get the rest of the information. This is how you use LinkedIn articles to push traffic to your website. Because LinkedIn is going to rank higher and easier than your website, you use LinkedIn to promote your post and then drive traffic to your website, as well as get yourself a backlink from LinkedIn to help your website rank higher. This is an SEO hack. So basically what you wanna do with LinkedIn articles is write an in-depth blog post on your own website repurpose most of your blog post as a LinkedIn article. Make sure it's got the most important stuff in there. Don't make a post on how to start a post and only give them three steps. Give them all the main steps that they need to have and then let them know that there's extra information on the main post. But post it on your website first so that Google knows that your website posted the original content. Then you repost it on LinkedIn and link to your original blog post tell people to read the rest of your blog post there. And that's a strategy. Now, articles are a great place to get in depth on a topic, showcase your experience, and drive SEO traffic to your website. The best content strategy focuses on one social platform and one SEO platform. And the good news is LinkedIn kind of covers both of them if you use it correctly, because you've got the articles and then you've got the posts. But I do 100% suggest you either post on your blog or you post on YouTube and have another SEO source. So that's how it's done. If you want to delete an article, you just click on your articles, go to edit article, go to published, and then you can click on these dots over here to delete your article. Or if you've just started a new article, you can start a new article and go to manage as well and 
go to published and then click on these three dots again and click on delete. Create two months of LinkedIn content with my free 74 LinkedIn post ideas and hooks with examples. Click on the link in the description to download these or scan the QR code on screen. These are absolutely free, so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to download them because they won't be free and available forever. So download them now. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.